back down with this skin. You wanted to see me. You wanted to see me. <clears throat> we got some news, good King Darius. We feel your position is precarious. There are some people here in Babylon will give you your doom. You're at about to other men. Can this be so? Can this be? It doesn't be so, is it? Yes, your majesty. This is true, your majesty. Oh dear. We brought a solution of our own design. You just sign this paper on the dotted line. It's amazing. And most exactly what God to do. We must bow our heads and bend our knees before no one but you. I see. Well, I didn't mean to be a bother. But I don't think it's not pretty much left. I know. Will you mind? Oh, sorry, Your Majesty. Yes, one more time. Then let's see if I caught this straight. Just one more time, now let's see if I got this straight. I'm not to prove, but I'm for that I am great. If I'm the king, no one must stop my rose and grab a sea. So from this day for my citizens will pray to only me. Yes, but whether they don't do it. If they don't obey. And he said the sin will be thrown into the lion's den. Oh, I guess that will do it. Okay, man. Good work, man. To the loop. Everyone in Babylon heard about the new law, including Daniel. But Daniel also knew God's law, and God's law told him that he should only pray to the Lord. So the next day, just like he does every other day, Daniel prayed and thanked God for the sunshine and for all of his friends. He also thanked the Lord for giving him the courage to do what was right. Even though it can get him in trouble. Go. Wait a minute. Did you say trouble? Yes, I did. All right then. Who's been knocking on the door anyway? Who's been through that door in this hour? Who's been knocking on my door anyway? Uh, can I help you with something, fellas? So, you guys are wise men. We are. Alright, this is getting embarrassing. Hey, I can see my house from here. No, it was the mountain top. Daniel, because your father is section 4219 of 2R nine thousand six seven b of the code of Babylon to pray to anyone but King Darius, it hereby sends to be consumed by the lions. Good luck. Wait, what am I at to go again? Wait, what am I at to go again? No. <laughs> Uh, uh. What in the hell just happened? 
What did the heck just happen? Hey, Daniel. You sure you gonna have fun down there? We're not flying. You're not lying. <laughs> ha ha ha, very funny. Yeah, you better be lying down. Cause lions are gonna um, fly on you. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Yours was pretty goofy. Lions are gonna lie at you? They're gonna eat them. They're not gonna lie on them. Well, maybe you got a lion, then eat them. Maybe you got a lion, then eat them. Oh, okay, here we go. I'll lie on them. Come on. Who's speaking of lion without the lion? Oh, well, maybe it's. <laughs> Something too straight. Welcome, Lionel. I'm not the lion. Hmm. It's not so creepy down here. A little musky. Yeah, it's filthy, but not so creepy. <sighs> nice kitty. Good kitty. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What am I gonna do? It looks like I'm gonna. I hope this planes too. Oh, by the way, I'm scared. Don't cry, Daniel. Fear not, Daniel. Don't you? Even though we didn't still didn't know what to expect, Daniel felt better when he remembered that the Lord was taking care of him, even in the lion's den. Also in the kingdom, yeah, 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 ye
So with this day forward, everyone needs to pray only to Daniel's God. No more silly brains for these business. Which, speaking of which, I still need to talk with the three of you. What do you think of going? Stop it, you frog face. Stop running, you frog face. Not so fast. Stop. I'm the king, if you must stop now. I'm the king, and you must stop now. Come back here.